is a handbag, that perfect arm candy that you have to have that accessorizes the perfect outfit? Or are you the type of person that you just want function? You want a good looking bag, but you want it to go with all of your outfits and you really carry it because you just absolutely have to. So either way, whatever type of shopper you are, I'd love to know in the comments below. I feel like I'm a combination of both of these. I want function, but I also want arm candy. And this season of 2023, I think there are some really good options. And I have picked 10 very practical, very wearable and functional handbags, but there are also some pretty compelling arm candy options in here as well. So I do wanna thank Teddy Blake for partnering with me on part of this video. I will show you a bag that they sent me that is part of these handbag trends that I think you guys are just going to be blown away by. It's so incredible. So thank you so much for watching. If you're new around here, my name is Jamie. Welcome to my channel. And if you guys have time, please hit that thumbs up if you love this video and also hit the subscribe button and the little bell to get notifications so you can help my channel grow and you don't miss any of my content. So I did want to start off with my absolute favorite trend that is popping up everywhere and it's the crescent moon shape bag and you're going to see variations in shape on this and in size. So you'll see a half moon shape and then the real crescent shape. So you know some of these are called crescent moons or just moons but that is the trend and there are a lot of them and if you haven't noticed them you're probably going to notice them now but i do think that this bag is great if you like a smaller bag want one that is good arm candy but it's also functional because i love the flaps that i'm finding that are coming over the front of these bags i think it just helps with the aesthetic of the bag and it also gives really good function when they have a crossbody and one of my favorites was the teddy blake cleo bag which is brand new and i just wanted to quickly show this one to you this is not the bag they sent me i'll show you that in just a minute but i did want to mention this one because it is a nice trend and there are six colors in this bag and I thought it was really pretty. But you're also going to see some other versions that are larger, maybe even hobo style, that would be a little more functional and a little more casual. So the option I found was a free people. She's wearing it crossbody, but you could also put it over your shoulder. But it's kind of this hobo style that's going on too that is very on trend, those slouchy larger bags. So Either way, the crescent moon shape is one of my absolute favorites and I would love to know what you think of this trend. Something else that I have seen popping up everywhere that I don't hear a lot of people talking about and it's denim handbags. I started to see one and then I saw several and it just popped into my head that this has to be a trend that's going on right now. And honestly, I didn't hear about it either. So I really love this. Even if it's not, it might be a micro trend. It might not last that long. I don't know, but I love it right now because denim is huge. And I think for spring and summer, this is a great addition. It's a great accessory because we're going to be wearing dresses and skirts and, you know, a lot of the pants, trousers are coming back. So why not take a handbag and continue to add your denim to your outfit in a really, really fun way? It is now time for me to introduce you to my Teddy Blake bag. So this is Vera and she is a geometric shaped tote bag that is oh so beautiful and she smells so good because she's made out of Italian leather. And I chose her because I thought she was a really good everyday bag. And I chose the black, although she comes in six other colors, so seven colors total. And this pebbled leather is just so nice and it has really good structure to it like most tote bags you want to have and i don't know if you're familiar with teddy blake bags but they make luxury handbags at very affordable prices so if you have never checked out their bags there will be a link in the description below that you can check them out i'll show you another one that i have here in just a minute when i want to compare sizes so she's 14 inches which is a larger size and only comes in this size and I love that she has snaps on each side that actually holds the bag together and closed so your stuff's not gonna fall out and they are really substantial. They're, they're kind of hard to get open, which is what you want. And on the interior is a beautiful suede and it's red in the black bag, but it's different colors in the other bags. 
And then it has these two zipper compartments, which is one of the absolute favorite things that I saw in this bag that I loved. And the pockets are deep, they go all the way down. So if you have a larger phone and keys and you know you want your hand sanitizer or wipes or whatever, all that is going to fit in here and it'd be easy for you to get to. So this ticks both boxes. It's arm candy and it's very, very functional. So I absolutely love this bag. And another function is it has the shoulder strap or you can adjust it. It can become a crossbody or you have the top handles. So you can wear it many, many different ways. But to show you the size difference, let me grab my other Teddy Blake bag, which this is Kim. She's a little bit smaller at 11 inches, so you can see the size difference there. And it's pretty significant, I think. And I really love the 14 inch. I was looking forward to getting a larger bag to become my everyday bag and I just thought this one was perfect. And so I am talking about handbag trends here. So this bag is actually a structured tote bag and structured bags are coming back in a major way. And you're seeing them in a lot of the tote bags, but you're also seeing smaller shoulder bags, handheld top handle bags, and a lot of them are really, really structured. So that's a big trend that you're going to see a lot of in 2023. So a very classic and elegant style that is coming back are the top handle bags. And you're going to see a variation in these bags, like you saw the Vera that I have that has the two top handles, but you're also going to find a lot of bags with just one top handle. And I love that there are lots of choices here and the sizes of the bags are going to vary. So the majority of the ones that I did find were really small, cute little bags that had one little top handle. And they also come with a crossbody strap, which gives them a little bit more function. So I think that this is a very fun trend that I think is going to continue to go on. It is very classic, very stylish, and very on trend right now. So I think during the spring and summer season, it's a lot easier to add really bright colors to your outfit. So it's not a surprise to me that I saw citrus shades in handbags. So I'm talking like oranges, yellows, and greens. And I'm actually seeing a lot of these in stores. And I picked a bag up that I thought was so cute that is orange because orange is having a moment and it usually doesn't have a moment. I thought it would be pink, but orange, yellow, and green bags are very popular right now to add just a citrus shade to your outfit. And whether it's functional, it may not be um, to add one of these bags, uh, but it's definitely something that would be fun and cute for the spring and summer and definitely really good arm candy. So metallic bags are becoming a very big trend and it's not just in the evening bags where we're used to seeing metallic, but it's in your everyday casual bags as well. And so I have found a lot of different options and I just think they're so cool. If you want a unique piece for your outfit, even if it's just a white t-shirt and jeans and a blazer, you could throw that pop of color in there that's metallic and it just makes it a lot of fun. And I do think that silver is having a very large moment. I don't know how long this is going to last, but silver is something that is a heavy trend. It was a heavy trend on the runway and it's actually something that I'm seeing trending in stores as well on shoes, in clothing, like silver pants and things like that, and definitely in handbags. So if you love silver, then this would be the season for you to grab a casual silver handbag like this tote bag, which I thought was really awesome. So it's surprising sometimes what I find when I go to look, but this, the colors that I was seeing were a very big surprise to me and I actually really loved them and thought they would be a really fun arm candy for those of you that want it. One trend that I did not think was gonna make it very far were the extra large tote bags. We have seen these trending for the past few seasons on the runways, which they were really extra on the runways. And I haven't seen a lot of bags that size, but I have seen really extra large tote bags that I say to myself, I just can't even imagine carrying that. 
but there are people who are going back to work, who just have necessities and things that they need to carry. And if you are that person, then this is the bag for you. It would function really well for you. And I think a lot of the styles that they're showing out there right now are actually really nice. A lot of them are in leather, or faux leather, or canvas, and they are more fashion forward looking. So definitely jump on this if it is something that you need because this would be the season to do it so if you want a functional bag but you don't have to carry a lot of things then a utility bag would be the perfect match for you and my favorite utility bag is the belt bag and a lot of people have said that this bag is going out of style or it's not on trend anymore but I have to say that trends are something that are gaining popularity. And this is very much gaining popularity. I see a lot of people wearing belt bags across their body and even around their waist. And I just think it's a functional thing that is also very cute since a lot of people are making them cute now that I just don't think it's gonna go anywhere until our lifestyles change a little bit and become less casual. So. If you don't like the belt bag and don't want to do the belt bag, then you can always choose a cargo pocket bag because the cargo trend is that 90s trend that's coming back and they are making bags that have pockets on the front, which are very functional. Or you could choose a bag that has multiple bags on it. So you have your main bag and then you have some bags up the strap, which I do think this type of utility bag is not as popular and I think it's probably going to go out of style, but either of the other two, I think would be a great option. One trend that I have been watching to see when it was going to start gaining popularity is the bucket bag. And I really think that this year it's going to gain a lot of popularity and I'm finding a lot of different styles in stores right now. And I haven't seen a lot of people carrying them. I'm not sure if this is a good everyday bag that people think they can carry, but I really think it is. I think it's very classic. It's very on trend. I feel like it's a multitasker, so it can be worn during the day and go into the evening, depending on which one you have. And you can find ones that are small or you can find ones that are large. And they also come with straps long enough that you can wear them crossbody. So this bag I think has good function. It has good style. It's very classic and very fun. So this would be a great option if you just want a different style bag to add to your wardrobe, whether you're really casual or you like to dress up. I really think this could be a fun option for either of those. So woven handbags have been around for a few seasons and I do think that they are usually more popular in the spring and summer. And I definitely think right now that there are a lot of different options out there from really small bags to larger tote bags and then a lot of different materials. So you have ones that are made of leather or faux leather like this one that are a lot of fun. They have a lot of really nice texture to them. That woven material just gives them a lot of interest. And I also think that the straw bags are part of the woven bags because they are woven. And I just think that's a fun bag to have for the spring and summer. And I wanted to show you a couple that I had because there are a lot of different options available depending on what you want and price points. There are a lot of price points too. So I think this is a trend that is going to be around for a while. And I think they are a great option to complete some of our really flowy kind of warmer weather outfits for the spring and summer. I think those are some of the best handbag trends that we have had in many, many years. So let me know what you think about them in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I would love it if you would give this a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button and the little bell to get notifications so you don't miss any of my content and you can also help my channel grow. So love your neighbor, be kind, and I'll talk to you next time.